Well hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to create a table with rounded corners. So this was a question that came in uh, on a uh, on a other video, and I uh, wanted just to take a minute this morning to jump in here and show you how I would go about doing this. So uh, it's actually not not super complicated. We just have to think outside the box a little bit. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create a table. Let's just uh, let's just do a four by four, right? Is that a four by four? Oh, that's a one, two, three, four by four. Yes. Okay, so we did a four by four table, and uh, just to make this a little more visible, um, I'm gonna make them relatively. Um, here we go. Uh, gonna make make the table relatively square. So we got square. Um, for the most part, we've got uh, relatively square boxes. Uh, what we're gonna do is is just uh, anywhere on that table, we're gonna right click and we're gonna say format table. Now what we're gonna do is on the top and the bottom and the sides, we're gonna turn off all of the lines and we're just gonna turn on the lines for the center and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a color so we'll just for for kicks we'll just leave it black and uh, we'll go with one point <clears throat> go ahead and say okay and now if I click off the table we almost have like this tic-tac-toe grid with uh, no lines around the outside so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the shapes tool and we're gonna go ahead and grab a rounded rectangle and then I'm gonna start uh, right up here on the edge and we're gonna click and drag all the way down until it stops and now what we can do is is go ahead and grab this little yellow diamond and we can decide how rounded we want the corners to be do we want it to be a small round do we want it to be you know a big round you can go all the way to almost a circle with it uh, if your square was a true uh, equilateral square then you would get a circle when you did that but for this we'll just give it slightly rounded corners and now what I can do is is now that that shape is selected go up to the format say shape fill and say none and on the outline I can go to weight and I can say one point and it is now the exact same points as the grid that we put down, that tic-tac-toe grid that we put down. So if I click off of this now, we'll see that we have a table that I can still click inside of. Um, now right now I can't click inside of it because the, um, the shape that we just created is on top. So if I right click, I can tell it send backwards. And now when I click, I'm inside of the table and I can tab through it's gonna work just like a normal table but we've got rounded corners let's go ahead and check out the print preview on that and there you go you can see we have a uh, a table with rounded corners now I want to show you one other way that we could potentially do this because I'm not exactly sure um, what is trying to be accomplished here with the grid with the round tables so um, so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to I'm gonna undo that um, and actually I'm gonna um, I'm just going to work with the table the way it is and for this I'm gonna blow it up a little bit um, what you can do is go up here to the shapes tool and grab your rounded uh, rectangle and then I'm gonna go just kind of to the inside a little bit of this table and I'm gonna go ahead and create a shape and then I'm gonna get rid of the fill so I'm gonna say no fill and holding down the control and shift key I'm gonna click on that shape and drag it out just until it's centered up inside of this box. I'm going to do it again here. And now, continuing to hold down the Control and Shift key, I'm going to select all of them, click and drag, 
until they're about equal distance apart. This is really cool, by the way, what you're about to see. I've never done this before. But check this out. Now, if we click on that table in the background, I can right click it and say to bring it forward. Um, or, let's see, with it selected, I can say bring to front. And now when I click, um, I would have to change the uh, I would have to change the the borders inside of here a little bit. Like I can go up here and I can I can tell it that I want it to hit here, um, and I could change kind of this top the padding here at the top. So I could go into the settings and change that so that basically the information is going to hit inside. It's going to stay inside of these square or the rounded rectangles that we put in the background um, or you could just completely get rid of of that if you wanted to and now you have a whole bunch of rounded rectangles now obviously if you wanted to put text inside of them uh, you could like come in here and just draw in a text box and then you could put text inside of them if you wanted to uh, there's a few different ways to do that but uh, that is the ways I would go about creating a table with rounded corners, two different ways that I would do it. Hopefully that gives you some ideas, and I'd love to see how you use this little trick. Uh, if you're loving these videos, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.